Good afternoon everybody, uh, glad you could join in. Uh, Paul here at Rio Driving School. Uh, another video in our driving uh, test uh, success series. So we're going to be turning left um, in a moment. Uh, follow along on the video. I'm just going to put my eyewear on. Okay, here we go. Bring the car forward. Looking all the way up the road, it's all clear and off we go. Lots of gas, mirrors, keeping a wary eye on that junction in case something appears. We're all good and into fourth gear. A little bit of brisk acceleration. Being wary that we're going to be coming into that uh, 30 mile an hour speed restriction shortly, so we're not going to go too mad. Mirror, and as we just come around the bend got one approaching okay light touch on the brakes there as we bring the speed right down uh, we're just going to hold it there with third gear third gear is a good choice there's more engine compression as I mentioned before more engine compression or more engine braking means it's much more difficult to accidentally go over that speed limit so we've got a newly uh, laid road here uh, the road markings are very easy to see and of course we can see that it's all reinforced here so slow is everywhere um, so just keeping my eye on things looking down the dip round the bend and up to the top we always look as far as we can into the distance uh, I'm not um, I'm not going to be going any faster than this at the moment we've got more slows on the road mirror and we're going to be doing a left at the roundabout. I can just about see, if you look in the distance, that yellow bollard. That's all the clue that you're going to get that there's a, a roundabout coming up. So mirrors, again, signals going on. So the one behind knows where I'm going. He's closing up the distance. I'm looking for a reason to stop. Can't see one. A little bit of acceleration now. Mirrors. And away we go. So keeping at 30 miles an hour, keeping a wary eye on the one behind, making sure it doesn't close the gap up too much. We're going to be following the road ahead second exit in a moment, which to a lot of people looks like a right turn, but it's actually ahead second exit and we use the right hand lane. You will be uh, advised to use the right hand lane on your driving test. So I'm looking for a reason to stop, can't see one. Check that near side mirror, taking our time there, a little bit tricky. And I'm just going to pull up on the near side, mirror, signal, and we're just going to pull over. You will be asked to pull over along here most probably. Uh, one reason is to see if you know the rules about the cycle lane. Of course we've got a broken line there, so it's perfectly okay to enter the cycle lane to pull over. When you pull away, please for goodness sake, don't just put your right signal on and then start looking around to see if it's safe to go. If someone from behind slows down or stops to let you pull out, you just inconvenience somebody. So don't go inconveniencing people or the road users. You shouldn't have to uh, cause another road user to make a decision that they shouldn't have to make. So I'm going into first gear, set the gas, I'm looking all around. If I'm happy to go, then the signal goes on. Don't just sit there stationary with a signal on because if you're unlucky and somebody slows down you've just inconvenienced another road user. Think about it from your own point of view. If you were driving up the road and you saw a parked car on the left there with a right signal on, what would you think they were going to do next? Maybe pull out and if you think that, what would your action be? So just think about it from your own point of view and it makes perfect sense. Anyway, following the road ahead, being mindful not to go over 30 miles an hour, it's a nice wide road here, but it is uh, reinforced with slow all over the place, so we've got, the, we've got the school nearby, we've got a lot of pedestrian activity and potentially from these houses people could be stepping out or kids could be running across the road, so just take your time with this. I'm just going to follow the road ahead and we've got the school patrol sign so again mirror of course the school is in on today but you never know who might be trying to step out at some point we've got the parked cars on the near side so I'm checking my mirrors nice and early and I'm just going to bring the car out a little bit so I can see a little bit further around the bend to the left 
and of course the one ahead there can see me a little bit sooner as well we're going to be turning left shortly opposite these shops now the one behind is a little bit too close for my for my liking so i'm going to put that signal on just a little bit too early and i'm giving the brake lights just a little bit earlier than normal just to reinforce my intention that we're turning left and that's called braking for two i've mentioned it before if someone's right up your backside that's how you're going to control the problem mirrors a little bit of gas now and normally again you're going to be asked to do a hill start here not always but in my experience most of the time so they're going to pull over somewhere along the side of the road here again handbrake on neutral just rest for a moment wait for the next instruction you may drive on when you're ready this is where people make the mistake they put the right signal on then they start looking around don't do that first gear set the gas clutch the bike watch the front of the bonnet lift up just a little bit there we are looking all around looking for a reason to see we can't actually see one this time so i won't use one and into two and if you want to put a signal on it's okay to signal to the invisible man you're not going to be losing points so to speak um in fact it might just be an idea to put that signal on anyway because if you don't signal when it is required that could be dangerous and that could be very costly so you can signal all the time anyway mirrors returning right here uh, newly painted road it wasn't like this last time i was here which makes life a lot easier for me i don't have to guess where the middle of the road is uh, i'm just going to cover the brake here so that we don't end up going too fast down this hill a lot can go wrong you see the parked cars on the left and the right i'm looking for any activity particularly children who might be running across the road and taking the second road on the right so mirrors signal is going to go on about now and i'm looking into the new road i'm looking everywhere there's such a lot that can go wrong again on a driving test they may ask you to pull up behind a parked car so i'm going to do that here this is a popular spot he will say disregard the curbs for this exercise in other words you wouldn't normally pull up on the left where the curbs have been lowered but now he's testing you in a different way because he wants you to pull away without hitting that car in front and the way we're going to do that is take first gear we're going to look all the way around of course looking for a reason to signal i'm going to keep the clutch down and i'm just going to release the brake just a little bit to give me slow movement while I negotiate around this parked car don't go lifting your clutch up on that hill there else the car's going to go far too fast okay at the roundabout we're going to be following the road ahead so let's bring the car forward taking our time now and I'm going to be looking across the garden here and fences to see if there's any movement I'm always wary of someone going on that road too fast and I'm not checking enough I'll just keep in mind that BMW that started to uh, emerge dangerously then. The one that was behind me just. Anyway, I'm going left at the mini roundabout. So I'm going to delay my signal until after these parked cars. To the, after the junction and this parked car. Signal's going on now. Turning left there. And I'm looking again across the gardens for anything moving fast. I'm thinking motorbikes. I'm happy with that. And we're just going to be taking our time down here. You can see the brake lights on. Someone's trying to turn right. We've got somebody trying to get past some parked cars. And mirrors. Going to go round the van now. And down the dip to the mini roundabout. We're going to be following the road ahead there. So now think fast motorbike can't actually see what's coming from the right potentially I always say to my pupils think about what you can see think about what you can't see and think about what you could reasonably expect to see next so with this hill in front of me what I can see is the hill I can't see what's over the top of that hill and what I could reasonably expect to see is a broken down vehicle on the on the other side there or somebody crossing the road so that's why I don't accelerate into the unknown. Mirror. 
keeping it at 30 miles per hour. I don't want to get too close to that buzz anyway. He looks like he's going to be pulling over shortly. I'm going to wait for that red one to go round. So it mirrors. It's a bit tricky. Holding the car back, showing the brake lights to the one behind. The one in front's got his indicator on now. But because I've managed to keep the car moving, I don't need to use one. A lot of people get mixed up with that as well. Yes, the red one was right to put the indicator on because he had stopped the vehicle. And now he was letting everybody know that his intention was to move again. But if you can keep the car moving without stopping, then we don't put the indicators on. We don't want to look like a mobile Christmas tree with lights going on and off all over the place. You don't normally indicate to go around park vehicles, do you? Anyway, holding the car back so the white one's out of the way. Check the near side mirror. Off the brakes. A little bit of acceleration. And at the roundabout, we're gonna go right. There's only a left and a right here. Um, so we're gonna put our right signal on nice and early. The danger here, for me, is over there. And check the near side mirror. The signal's going on for the blue one on the left hand side, primarily because as we spiral across the road here, I want the left signal on really early so they see the side of my car as I'm as I'm approaching um, halfway past the first exit. I want to give them the opportunity to see the side of my car um, before I put the left. Um, before a spiral across the road. If you don't do that early enough, you do risk the one from exit one emerging onto the roundabout in lane one and you've got nowhere to go. You can't spiral across the road like you wanted to. It is dangerous. Anyway, mirror, reducing the speed, holding the car back out of the way. Looks like the red one's coming across the road. She's, she's turning right, she just put a late signal on. I'm checking that left mirror for anything sneaking up on the left side. I'm gonna put the signal on for the gray, the gray one. And we're gonna go down the road. A little dual carriageway system here. Remember, a dual carriageway is any road uh, with a physical barrier going down the centre of it. So a central reservation. It has to be a physical barrier. In this case, it's a concrete and metal railings but it could be anything it could be a grass verge it could be wooden fence posts it could be anything anyway 40 mile an hour speed restriction don't need to go any faster than this though else i'll be into the back of the red one the lights are just changing mirror i'm holding the car back i'm looking for any pedestrian activity at the moment because um, even if the lights were to change, I can't go if someone's still trying to cross the road. So I'm holding the car back, taking my time now. The clutch is going down for a controlled coast. I'm going to go straight into first gear, checking my mirrors before I start to accelerate again. Bringing the car forward at the next roundabout. We're turning left by the looks of things. So I'm staying in lane one for that. I'm always looking ahead at the Tom Tom or what the Tom Tom's telling me to do so that I can position nice and early. I don't rely on the instructions coming through uh, in the verbal sense. I'm looking at the blue line on the Tom Tom. Anyway, so I'm holding the car back. We've got a little bit of activity at the traffic lights. Someone's just pressed the button, so I'm covering the clutch and the brake just in case they change. I'm committed now. Now the signal goes on. So notice what I did back there. I was off the gas really early. You've got to be covering the brake and the clutch um, early. It's very, very difficult to stop the car, even if you're accelerating just slightly. Okay, one approaching. We're trying to turn right. I'm going to take first gear now, a little bit of gas and bring the car into this road. Now this road here is a favourite spot for the parallel park, so the examiner may ask you to pull over along this road, probably behind that silver one there, and perform the reverse park or the parallel park. I may cover that in another video if uh, people want me to. 
so up into third gear now just taking our time along this road no point going very fast look how narrow the road is yes we could potentially go faster but i don't think it's safe especially if the door of that van opens suddenly i'm also keeping a wary eye not just on the footpath but all the houses because if any of the doors open kids start running into the road i need to be able to react along these cars here i'm looking over and over under and through we call it out or out look over under and through so i'm looking through the glasswork underneath over the top for any movement that's going to give us a problem i'm also considering doors opening and cars pulling away without warning and that's the reason why i'm not gathering any speed see how that person just stepped out between the parked cars we're taught from a young age not to do that for safety reasons, but people still do it. So, bringing the car forward now, just wondering what that black one's gonna do. So I'm just gonna hold the car back slightly. It was my right away, but they took it from me. So we never assume that we've got right of way. We only uh, hope for the best with that, but we always prepare for the situation to change so I'm checking the mirrors I'm going to go around this blue one I'm looking further down the road as far as I can see towards the junction though and again I'm looking over under and through all of these vehicles keeping the speed down just in case a child was to run into the road it happened before to me on driving lessons don't think it won't happen it will sooner or later so we're going to get to the junction it's coming up now you can see the hazard lines approaching that's another clue that the junction's appearing and now of course we can see it's a crossroads we're turning right at the crossroads clutch down for a controlled coast we're turning right at the traffic lights also look onto the new road and i can emerge handbrake neutral and um, Always keep your hands on the steering wheel, um, even when you're stationary, because if someone hits you from behind, you don't want to be thrown forward and your face going straight into the steering wheel. So at least you can brace yourself in that way. Speed limit, I've not seen a change of speed, so I'm assuming it's still 30. Notice back there in that road, I didn't go above 20. Uh, it was a very very narrow road so you've got to use your common sense a lot of the time when driving just because a speed restriction is one thing doesn't mean you have to do it so the signals going on even though we can only turn right yes for health and safety reasons in a dedicated right turn you should still signal mirrors and look at the mistake that these two are potentially making next to me uh, you should only be in lane two unless you're preparing to turn right or unless you're overtaking uh, neither of those vehicles were doing that they might be getting ready ultra early for the roundabout ahead um, can't tell anyway we're going to go left at the roundabout so mirrors nice and early check on those mirrors signal is going to go on in a moment as we just pass the junction covering the clutch and the brake, keeping an eye on that young person there and yes we can go now nice and clear so it's always for me it's a 50 50 whether i go or i don't um, i always assume that i'm going to go unless i see otherwise we're always trying to keep the car moving if we can so i'll cover the clutch and cover the brake so that i can easily stop the car or slow it down if i have to Keeping it at 30 just till we reach the 40 mile an hour speed restriction and then off we go. Lights are just changing to green now. I'm just going to hold the car back just a little bit till those ones in front get out of the way. Interesting situation coming up ahead. We've got a large light controlled roundabout up in the distance there. Uh, it's a dangerous one because. Um, if you're not familiar with the road layout you could easily be in the wrong lane and a lot of people do that i don't know if they're doing knowingly or what but uh, lane one is purely for turning left onto the m54 so if you want to follow the road ahead you need to be in lane two or three i have on many many occasions 
uh, told my pupils to keep an eye on the person, the driver in lane one, just in case they follow the road ahead. And guess what, they do. Anyway, mirrors, covering the clutch and the brake in case the lights change. I'm committed now anyway. Check the near side mirror, make sure it's safe. It is safe. And then I'm covering the clutch and the brake, waiting for the one in front to move. He's decided to change lanes. I'm not going to accelerate in case the lights change. Now I can accelerate a little bit. We've got the cyclist in front of us, so I'm considering going round into lane two in a moment. There's no point uh, getting getting close to a cyclist if we don't have to. And we can just keep the car going at 40 miles an hour at the moment. We don't want to be doing what he just done and accelerating which is the wrong thing to do at the moment. We've got to still stay at 40. Have a look at the reasons why. Let's look at the road together now. Why are we still restricted to 40 miles an hour? Well, look at the next road sign up ahead. We've got a junction to the left. We've got a brow of a hill. We don't know who might be emerging out of that junction there. And if you're belting up this road at 60 or 70 miles an hour, you might have difficulty stopping if the one emerging has not got out of the way fast enough. So now we check the mirrors, now we can bring the car a little bit faster, up to 60. And we're gonna be turning right at the next roundabout, so I'm looking for my chance to do that. I can see there's no one around, so I'm just gonna change lanes. Normally it's a good idea to signal to change lanes here. Uh, and we're gonna be turning right at the roundabout, so because we're going that much faster, we can signal that much earlier as well. I want that signal on nice and early to reinforce our intention so there's no mistaking what we want to do. I'm going to take third gear, it's really quiet. Check that near side mirror really early so that I stop steering now and the car spirals. I just cancel the right signal. I don't need to worry about the left signal, there was actually no one there to benefit from it anyway. Okay, I'm taking my time. I'm coming away from the pub entrance here. Can you see on the left, we've got the pub there. I'm actually on the other side of the road because if someone comes off there, off that uh, car park, and they come up a little bit too quick, we're both gonna have a crash. So I'm always driving defensively uh, and planning for the worst. At the end of this road is a closed junction. We're gonna go left there. So I'm checking my mirrors, signals going on. No need to panic. Clutch is going down. I'm going to take first gear before the car stops. Stay nice and close to this wall. Take it nice and close. We do get large vehicles coming up and down this road, so we can't go around too wide and end up pinching a bit of the other side of the road. That's why we do it a little bit slower, um, so we've got more accuracy. Anyway, mirrors returning right. Holding the car back to after the white one's out of the way. Looking into the new road as well while we've got the chance to and make a turn. Mirrors, a little bit of acceleration up to 40, into three, and rest the engine with fourth gear. Notice we've got the brow of the hill, remember what I said earlier, other road users wouldn't be able to see our intention as we get over the top of that hill. So if there's someone behind you at this point, we know we're going to be turning right surely. I'd, personally, I'd put the signal on now while they can still see me and still see the back of the car. Because as you go over the brow of the hill, you are now hidden. I wouldn't be able to see you and react to your intention until it's too late. That is an accident waiting to happen. I'm holding the car back now. I'm going to tuck it in now, waiting for that van to get out of the way. Into one and bringing it round. Mirrors, lots of gas now. National speed limit road up into three. Loads and loads of gas. Notice I'm pinching a little bit of the other side of the road. That's okay to do that. Remember, we pay road tax to use all of the road, not half of it. So if it's safe to do so, then that's perfectly okay. Just pinch the road where you have to and to avoid potholes and just to improve your vision of the road ahead. So here I'm just gonna pinch a tiny bit of the other side of the road, just a little bit, just a little bit, not too much. Okay, at the end of the road, again, we're gonna be going left 
always do that in first gear. I teach all my pupils to do it in first gear. It's a closed junction, which means we can't see until we're right on the end of it. Don't try to keep the car moving in second gear because it's weaker than first. And if we need to get the car moving fast, first we'll do it for us. We do not want to risk stalling at the end of that road, particularly if something's belting around that, that bend there. We're going to be into all sorts of trouble. They won't be able to stop. You will have a heart attack as something's coming towards your door. Loads of gas now. Coming up towards the finish line. Not too far away. We're almost done. By those conifers there. So mirrors. I'm going to put the signal on. The gates of course shut at the moment. But we're going to put the signal on anyway for the white one. Braking. Into second. Round we go. And that's it, another one. Uh, please leave your questions and comments down below. Uh, look forward to seeing you all again soon. Take it easy.